Approach Advance is Bailey's fourth motorhome range. Surprising, isn't it? They're relative newcomers to the market, yet they've certainly been busy down there in deepest Bristol. The Approach Advance 635 sports a layout that will be familiar to anyone who's had a touring caravan. Let's find out what it looks like. And here it is, the classic parallel lounge end washroom layout, so popular in the touring caravan world. And here it's been used to very good effect. Let's start in the kitchen where we have a circular sink, three gas burners, combination oven and grill, and a fridge with a separate freezer compartment, dual fuel, very clever. Oodles of storage, cupboard down there. Look at these three overhead lockers. You'll get pretty much everything in there and they'll be racking inside for your crockery. On the other side, there's a dresser. So if you run out of preparation space on this side, even with the sink infill in place, you've got the backup over here. Loads of plug points everywhere for your TV with your aerial connections, all very sociable for when you're watching it from the lounge. And speaking of the lounge, it's a very nice place to be. There is a pronounced step up into it, but you still get over six feet of headroom. Talking about measurements, or while I'm in a measurements mood, this bed that converts from the lounge seating is absolutely enormous, just under seven foot by six foot one. So that's gonna be plenty tall enough for pretty much every couple. Now, one thing manufacturers have got quite good at doing over recent seasons is taking an entry level product and making it look well, not particularly entry level. That is certainly the case in the Bailey Approach Advance range, where we can see an ensemble of quite contemporary design. Look at these nice red curtains and scatter cushions going beautifully with the oatmeal backs and this leather effect edging in the front here that's referenced in the cab chairs and also in the panel up there that has Advance stitched into it. Now, all Bailey motorhomes ride on Peugeot Boxer base vehicles with 2.2 litre turbo diesel engines producing 130 bhp. Now, you can't have an automatic transmission option with the Peugeot as you can with the Fiat, but one thing you do get in the Peugeot Boxer is steering wheel controls for the multimedia radio. This vehicle is also fitted with the 1199 pound premium pack, which gets you cab air conditioning, passenger airbag, DAB radio, Bluetooth connectivity, and pleated concertina blind for the front windscreen. Seems like a bit of a no-brainer at that price. And come nighttime, the bed can be put up in no time at all. There are sliding slats under the offside seat bases, and they're helpfully divided into two sections for ease of use. Just pull them into the gangway and rearrange all the cushions, and you'll be off to the lander nod in no time. And if you're wondering where to store the bedding, then the near side bed box has plenty of space for this and is accessible from outside the vehicle. The washroom isn't quite full width because the bottom of the wardrobe is taken up by the gas lockers on the outside of the vehicle. You still get a pretty decent amount of clothes storage space. Elsewhere you'll find a swivel loo, a vanity unit and a walk-in shower with a pair of task lights. Now the approach advance range is based on the Alco AMC chassis so it's fairly low to the ground and has great driving characteristics. Let's run some other numbers about this model. The MTPLM is three and a half thousand kilograms and the payload is more than 700 kilograms, which is very respectable. It's 6.6 .6 meters long, so it should fit on many people's front drives and crucially 2.34 meters wide, scarcely wider than the cab on which it is based. So perfect for newcomers to the pastime who don't want to wrestle a large rig down narrow country lanes. Now the price of the 635 is 38,795 pounds on the road. That's without the premium pack, which for 1,199 pounds does seem pretty good value for money. So who's this van going to appeal to? My money's on touring caravanners looking to make the switch, who will find a layout that's extremely familiar to them and at a price that's under 40,000 pounds. And what's not to like about that?